Does anybody have a piccolo I can borrow? Hello YouTube and hockey fans on Facebook, Twitter, and other bands. My name is Jed Lockett. Behind me is the facility formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum. And tonight, the South Carolina Stingrays are in town to take on Cincinnati. Tonight is game show night here at the facility formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum. That means nothing. It's Wednesday, dollar beer night. Beer can pyramids, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You blah, 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 blah. That last clip I recorded was only about 30 seconds long, but it got one of the ushers beneath me broken up laughing. At least I think that's what it was. I hope it's what it was. Maybe she was just laughing at me on general principle. Which is totally understandable. If you want to do the same thing, go ahead. By all means. I'm giving you more stuff to laugh at. That's kind of the way my brain works while I record these vlogs. I think, what can I talk about? And this music is going on in my brain. Eventually, I think of something. Tonight's crowd, kind of sparse even for a Wednesday night. A lot of it has to do with one word, I'm sure. Spring. Everybody wants to go outside, especially after the winter we've had here in Cincinnati. There could be also a lot of people that are at home watching the pregame show for the University of Kentucky's NCAA tournament game against West Virginia. Yeah. Correct Amundo. What's that? You're on the wrong. There is all I got. One period is in the books. One one is the score. They will have shortly. I'm walking back to my seat for the second period. Gentleman stops me and tells me his wife wants to speak to me. So I pick up the phone from him. And the conversation went a little bit like this. So your husband uh, told me that you wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah, I, I've been I've been told that at times. Yeah, I go I go a little crazy. That is one heck of a beer can pyramid. Well done. Bravo. Oh, now, now they're being glib about it. Such a 
determination in America's youth. It's beautiful to see. For them to rebuild that pyramid like that, that quickly, that takes a lot of moxie. For those beer can pyramids to get so high, requires a lot of beer to be drunk. Why don't they offer dollar bottles of water for those who promise to be designated drivers? How about that? Somebody call John Oliver and let's make that happen. I am sitting here thinking about how much I love March Madness. Not just basketball, but March Madness has been going on in hockey. I know I've vlogged about it a little bit, but Miami University plays its first round in the NCAA tournament on Friday. The Red Hawks will play the Providence Friars on Friday in Providence, Rhode Island. Miami was the number one seed in the region, number four seed overall in the tournament, but somehow drew the short straw. Still, I will be watching and best of luck to you. Two periods are in the books. Cincinnati leads two to one. Third period is underway. Cincinnati still up 2-1. As you can tell, I have changed into my Miami Red Hawks jersey for the third period in order to bring the Red Hawks some good luck for the upcoming NCAA tournament. Of course, if you believe CM Punk, luck is for losers. Except Andrew Luck. He's pretty good. Pretend. Pretty, pretty good. watching game shows in the 1980s and there were a ton of great game show hosts who were developed to be just that game show hosts not just Bob Barker or Pat Sajak but all the way down to Jim Perry Bob Eubanks Dick Clark remember he was a great game show host Chuck Woolery on Scrabble was awesome and of course Peter Tamarkin on Pressure Luck Ray Combs on Family Feud. God bless you, Ray. Before him, Richard Dawson. There were a lot of great game show hosts in a time when game shows were still a staple of daytime television. Now, the game show doesn't really exist like it did, and we don't have game show hosts that were specifically developed as game show hosts. Carolina, 3-2 now. Alex Trebek really is the last of his breed. He signed to do Jeopardy through 2017, but he's in his 70s now, so they don't know how long he'll be able to continue doing it. They've been speculating on his replacement. Names like Anderson Cooper and Matt Lauer have been thrown around, but I don't know that while good, either of them would be the best choice. You know who would do a good job on Jeopardy? Ryan Seacrest. He is the closest to a true game show host type that we've got. I'll take the physical challenge. Yeah, sure thing. Hey, I'm done. It's going. 
going. It's going. It's going. Hey, what do you think about Clarkson what? hockey? Okay. Oh, cool. Clarkson. Clarkson. Yeah, from, yeah, from upstate New York here in the ECAC. With Union, Yale, Harvard. Okay. I don't know. You need to look them up. I will. They're pretty good. I'll definitely look them up. Shout out to Clarkson hockey. Big time. Three periods are in the books. 3-3 three, three is the score. Trying to get something cleared up here on the ice. Misunderstanding or something. They're back underway now. I have no clue what it was they were talking about. Maybe they were talking about Alex Trebek. You never know. Overtime is done. 3-3 three, three is the score. super fan if you enjoyed this video please body check that like button and hit subscribe as well until next time in the immortal words of red green keep your stick on the ice